Friday. So if you want to go to the Character Warehouse at Vineland Avenue, make a right at the Nike store. We made it. No pressure, no panic. What'd you say? You panicked a little. I panicked a little. We were in the room. I thought I had plenty of time. We were in the room. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's already whatever time it was. I was like, we gotta go because I really want to get here by 9.30 to make sure I get a parking spot. But we're A-okay. There's plenty right now. 15 minutes from now? Mm, I don't think so. All right, so as of now, like this, just this, what? One, two, three, four rows here are like the rare parking spots that are not valet. So, and we always enter right here between Calvin Klein and a rack room. It is a quarter to 10. Let's see how many people are waiting. Two different doors. Oh, this isn't bad at all. Yeah, this isn't bad. We got like three groups. This is doable. I have ran into Caitlin and Bailey from Arkansas. Yes. And you're a travel planner. Yes, Disney Travel Agent. With what company? With Worldview Travel. Worldview Travel. So is there a link or somewhere they can find you? You can find me on YouTube at The Disney Traveler and then all my information is on that channel about my agency and stuff. All right, so guys, we're actually standing here at the Character Warehouse on Vineland Avenue, waiting to get in and find some great deals, right? Yes, I'm so excited. <laughs> Funny to see like what everybody heads to. Okay, so the guy in front of me was headed to the same, looks like we were headed to the same place. Oh, one more, maybe I'll get the one that um, I'm missing. I'll grab that one. Oh, Wilderness Lodge. I want one of those, that's cute. And what else do they have? Anything new? Thanks, babe. Oh, okay. So the Elsas are new. Uh, $5.99. And this one is $3.99. Hmm. I didn't know about that one. $6.99 and $2.99 for him and $3.99 oh really yeah only two okay and then they just have Daisy do they just have Daisy oh let me see if they have any new okay go look around if anything else cool oh okay I do not have poo guys <laughs> Who else do I not have? I have Goofy. I don't I don't think I have Donald. Okay, and I have the rest. They have a lanyard. They have a lanyard for 99 cents. It looks really small though for children probably. And have they came down on the prices? Oh, guys, these need to be 99 cents. We need to tell Disney that. $3.99. Really? All right, you might as well grab a handful. They're gonna be our traders. Oh, okay, I do not have poo, guys. Who else do I not have? I have Goofy, I don't, I don't think I have Donald. Okay, and I have the rest. They have a lanyard. They have a lanyard for 99 cents. It looks really small though for children probably. And have they came down on the prices? Oh, guys, these need to be 99 cents. We need to tell Disney that. $3.99. Really? All right, you might as well grab a handful. They're gonna be our traders. All right, looks like these are new. Disney Parks. It's a little charm, but it's a Disneyland charm for $4.99. 
Oh, they have Tinkerbell earrings. Tinkerbell attached to butterflies at $8.99. $9.99 you can get a large Disney Shanghai Mickey and the 45th anniversary mini oh it's also $9.99 hmm let's see which would you pick at 10 bucks I'm liking this Star Wars satchel $29.99 regular $64.95 but it's like a faux suede and there's the inside that's pretty nice Fit your laptop in there. I was hoping for the Virginia um, State shirt, and I don't see that. By the way, guys, the new pins that came out that sold out the mystery packs of the states, I've heard nobody make the connection that basically those pins are based off those shirts that were in the American Pavilion. Don't know if anybody noticed that, but I noticed it right off the bat. Actually, I didn't look long enough. They're here, $8.99, Virginia is for lover. I, so I don't have a lot of pink shirts, so guess what I'm getting? Yes, one of these. For $19.99, you can get some Haunted Mansion art. It looks like they just have two of the guys, though. Yep. And P4 Pinocchio, also $19.99. Oh, wait a minute. This is new. Oh, guys. Oh, that's... That's Bolly. Oh, hmm. I might have to get him. I've actually met this artist. Alright. They have some Star Wars 1999. This one's actually pretty large. And they have more Haunted Mansion. So they have the quicksand. I'm gonna guess they don't. Oh, they have the dynamite guy. I'm gonna guess they don't have the umbrella type rope walker. Because that's who everybody would want, like including me. Yep, only the dynamite and quicksand. All right, so the same daisy pins. This is a different um, Merry Christmas pin, limited release. Just ornaments. How much are these? $5.99 for the purses. Aren't these boxers fun? They're actually, oh, they're Disneyland and Disney Resort, $7.99. Looks like $9.99 for a beach towel. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that. The Haunted Mansion plate. $14.99. It looks like they only have one of the Dumbo Salt and Pepper Shaker sets right now at $5.99. And $19.99 on the Peter Pan pillow. And oh they had these at Art of Disney, guys. So this is the Haunted Mansion mini tea set. Uh, regular 55, it's $24.99. $28 in main faux leather tumbler at $9.99. Ooh, $3.99 Haunted Mansion. I'm getting one of these. I have a cool idea for this, guys. Oh, Canada bit. Guys, Lakeland's in here pin trading. He actually pin traded with a cast member. Oh, that I can tell you where that came from. Yeah, it looks like a farm. Go look at the back wall. Yeah, but there's still only 5,000. Yeah, I know. Rogue One Vinyl Mations for $6.99. Regular $14.99. Oh, they have small prints for $4.99. This cruise line one. It's a little 3D effect. That one's $11.99. 
Oh, Lycon. Look at that t-shirt. Look familiar? Why does it look familiar? Because I saw that trading pin at the parks that's just like it that I might want. I don't know. <laughs> you don't remember that? All right, it looks like this bath set is from Shanghai. And I'm making my way to the back. Okay, placemat for the summer, guys. $1.99. And let's check out the mug. These aren't the droids you're looking for. $5.99. This is new. So, for, oh, this is like a faux suede. And it's $14.99. That's from, um, hmm. Is this one from? Oh, this is $28 in Maine. So, $9.99. That's a nice frame. And this guy is a wonderful men's catch-all tray. So Lakeland's putting one together here. A catch-all tray for men's, to put on men's dresser for their change, their watch, jewelry, anything like that. So it starts off flat. That's kind of nice because if you travel and you, yeah, I like this. I should get one for Tom. Yeah, I, he actually. Yeah, but this would not do well in the bathroom. Yeah. All right, the store's been open for 15 minutes. The line is now this long, not too, too bad. Okay, how much are the journals? $4.99 for three. Mmm, y'all know how I feel about that. Yeah, get more. Yeah. Oh, little charms. Go stand right there, baby. Little charms with uh, Ursula, $3.99. And a lot of the same old stuff up here, guys. I haven't seen that magnet. $3.99. They um, put their um, hand up when somebody needs to come to the register when they're open. But I'm looking at this sign and it says a new pin event on June 26th from 5 to 6 p.m. Oh goodness guys, I did $180 damage in there. So I guess next up will be the haul. So glad got to meet Caitlin and Bailey. I love talking Disney to you guys. Anybody sees me out, please come up because again, that gives me something, somebody else to talk Disney to. We're gonna go and coach just for a second, guys. I'm gonna see how their coaches has if they have extra stuff, Disney stuff, than um, our coach. 60% off. <gasps> Yay! That is more than our store in North Carolina. See that this store has flip-flops that we don't have. Um other than that, it looks like we have everything else. They really have a lot of like um, extra merchandise that our store does not have. Um, wow, they even have pins, guys. At 18? Okay, how much? 15? Yep. Um, so they have a lot of uh, summery looking items that our store definitely does not have. I like the display when you first walk in with the tubes back there. Time for the haul. Okay, so uh, a few more items than the other store had. So I do wanna start off with, I, there was one pack of these left as you saw. And I went ahead and cut off the tops, but let's see what I got. First one is, Donald Duck. Cool. Donald's cool. And number two is what? Oh, yay! I do not have Scrooge McDuck. That's awesome. I'm really happy about him. Yay. Alright, so I am working on this set, people. Okay. Another, let's see. So I did get some more pens. Unfortunately, as you saw, they really didn't have any more limited edition pins, which I love to find there, and they didn't have any 99 cent traders. 
We did get a handful of the pin, the round pin quest ones again. They're already in our pin bag, ready to be traded. I think we bought 11 more of those. They were just the cheapest ones that they had. And since we're only on day three and we were basically, I think we had like four more traders left. Can I have one? Um, so we just got several of these. And that is what we'll be trading for the rest of the trip. The other pins I will show you at the end as a close up. The, I did get the pack of two journals. Y'all know how I feel about journals. So normally these journals are $17.99 for these two thin, yeah, not gonna happen. But $4.99 I will pay for. And I'll show you guys a close up of the inside of that book in a second. And I have a little project that I'm working on. And when I saw these placemats at $3.99, I had to get them. So I had to get two because I need both sides. Actually, technically, I could cut them open because <laughs> I only need like a side. But that will be for a future vlog. Now, super excited about this. Okay, you guys know how I feel about the Arts Festival. I love it. Met and talked to Doug about Bali, Bali for quite a while while we were there. He's working on a piece. Hopefully, it'll be um, done soon. Trader Sam, which is actually goofy. And it is the Jungle Cruise inspired. And I, I can't believe they had one of his prints on sale. So this little puppy is going to go back with me to the Arts Festival in February 2019. And I'm going to have him sign it because I'm pretty sure he will probably be there again. So very happy. Normally $39.95 and got it for $19.99. Now I will show you we got two shirts and so that I can lay them out and you can see them properly. I will show you a close up on those. Like I picked one out and I picked one out. All right, I had to get this. I actually grew up in Virginia. I have loved dogs all my life. Um, actually, Pluto used to be my favorite character. These did originally come from the American Pavilion. They were regularly $29.99, and I got it for $8.99. This is actually the back of the shirt that Lakeland picked out. Just basically, real faintly, you can see the American flag basically established 1971, Walt Disney World. Regular price, price $34.99. Got it for $7.99. And the front just has this. So nice, simple. It's actually a very, a very nice feeling, soft materi material. But poor thing, he got another dark shirt. He needs to really focus on getting some light shirts for a Disney World at summertime. All right, the two journals. Nothing on the back. But let's take a look at the inside of this one. So just some Animal Kingdom artwork here and just says Disney Animal Kingdom and the pages are a cream color. And let's see if this is the same. Nope, that's a different color. Same art, just a different color. And the inside of the journal is actually the same. We're going to start Shanghai Disney pins again. I don't think I had gotten Donald Duck before or Mickey or Pooh. I did get a couple tickers the other day. I don't remember getting Tinkerbell and I don't remember just this plain Mickey. If I did, I now have more duplicates, but of all these, I did get at least two, except this one. I only got this one and all these were $2.99. All right, and for something a little different. So I went ahead and got one of these, even though really $5.99. I really should not have paid that for a regular rack pen. But it is of the tropical island outside the um, outer rim. And it's got the palm trees there and the at-at. So I thought, if nothing else, I can actually, maybe this would make a good trader for at a pen event, maybe. Maybe. And Lakeland and I love the Wilderness Lodge. Hopefully one day we will get to stay here. So these were $3.99 and I got um, a couple of these. And then I did find one limited edition pen and that is a Very Merry Christmas. Kind of pen on pen. And this is from 2006. 
2016. Yeah, 2016. This was pricey, regular $14.99, and it was actually $6.99. So I did not get very many of them, just a few. So at the register, they had these little pins. I've actually bought this for Mr. Mouse Diva because he loves Chip and Dale at full price. But they were on sale for 49 cents. Now I'm like, why didn't I just get more? <laughs> but there we go, the three I chose. Just little buttons. I think I said pins a second ago, but they're actually buttons. So earlier in the vlog, I showed you the Haunted Mansion plates. They only had, I think, two large plates, two salad plates left. I did get one of the dinner plates for $14.99. I'm not taking this out of the box since I still have to travel home, but you did see the plate in the vlog. Very excited that that was at the warehouse. It was very unexpected. And it's those unexpected finds that you get giddy over. It's like Christmas. You never know what you're going to find there. So it's like opening Christmas presents when you go and that's it that is our haul if you like haul vlogs make sure to hit that thumbs up i gotta you know that you guys like these haul vlogs if you like um the character warehouse vlogs you know friends coming to disney world share the video let them know about the character warehouse i hope you like comment and subscribe see you at the parks Every city, every place